Rico promised a radio tease. I'm going to get to the phones, and shame on me. I didn't throw the number out. I want your reaction to the Washington Post report because now your bingo board of talking points has got cut in half. That's because you don't have experience. Or if you want to do what the people did to Rieger last night, you just call up and say, Wapo's a left-wing nutbag. All right, we can go that route too. But, but, but guys, bottom line, you're, oh, you're, what? A guy dropped the phone call. I don't care. I actually take it as a blessing. 248-539-9797. So uh, have you seen enough now to where we can leave a few of these things behind and we can begin talking about realistic outcomes? Mike, here's here's what's behind door number four. There's a door four? I mean, we talked to NCAA. There's the college football playoff committee. (sighs) Okay. There's the Big Ten. There's a fourth door. This door has already been used this year. I think we forgot about it. Hell no, oh. and it, it would likely cause a split like you've never seen before and may cost this man his job. Ward Manuel can just come out and unilaterally say, guys, there's a lot going on, not on my watch. I'm not putting up with this. Remember, this, the suspensions earlier this year, self-imposed. That came from Ward. That didn't come from the NCAA. War could see the body of work building up and knowing that there's more coming down and see how organized this is and simply just step in and say, I'm going to save you from yourself because I don't want us to get hit with year long suspensions and penalties and bowl bans. What if we just sacrifice right here, right now and just say, we'll play the season out and Ohio State will treat like a bowl game because we're not going to do anything after that. It will tick off Michigan fans, but it could stop and cauterize the bleeding because now when more things come out, it looks as if you try to attempt to help out the NCAA and you self-imposed. They're going to self-impose something. Right. I don't think from a rational standpoint, you can sit here and say they're just going to fight, go damn blue. It, it, it will make it worse. You we'll, will get to a point where the NCAA will go, I hope you had fun. And even though you have your memories, we're vaporizing everything the last three years was. Like, if you fight it and disrespect it and needle, they're going to have to offer something. Because this is the first time that I could ever remember this is happening in real time. Normally, it's the thing that I hate where... Five years later. It happened five years ago, and the current players have to pay for those crimes. You could actually have the people who are committing the crimes pay for it. And before you tell me, well, the players had nothing to do with it. Yeah, they did. They're benefiting from from this okay when you when you see the, all the hype for JJ for the hype he's benefiting from this war can just step in and say like he did earlier this year enough's enough I've seen enough we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna police ourselves we're gonna remove ourselves from this situation you want the middle ground I'll give you the middle ground he suspends Harbaugh the rest of the season Sharon Moore becomes the acting head coach it could and that's the peace offering. Now, that would that is essentially the equivalent of firing Harbaugh because Jim Harbaugh would never tolerate it. But Jim Harbaugh, I mean, I've already told you since summer I didn't think Jim was coming back. All of this just furthers my point. But think about it. By doing this, you are now telling the NCAA, we're taking this just as serious as you are, okay? And show us some mercy. If more comes out, we've already addressed the problem. We've already done this. So we're kind of going to grandfather everything else that you find out and say, well, we've, we've done this already. We've taken care of the problem. Here's the, here's the problem. And I, I get what you're saying, and it all makes sense about... Well, David, you know, I want to introduce you the appropriate way. Uh, here you go, buddy. When you're talking about... What's yes, your experience? Suspending, oh. Har- suspending Harbaugh, putting Sharon Moore, some assistant in place. The problem is, we don't know to the extent which coaches were accessing yeah. everything. David, and, and remember this. If Ward does this, this is the, you don't get to break this glass, but once. Yeah, but what if Ward knows he's done? Look, the reality is there's a very slim chance both Ward and Harbaugh survive. I think there's actually a decent shot neither guy's there next year. Truthfully. So it has nothing to do with them playing for the national title. Now, again, if if we cross a bridge of criminality... Or if we cross a bridge, let if this football scoop thing is true, well, then we go to a different place, and I will tell you whether it's Petiti or the CFP, you have to step up and go, look, here's the bottom line. We don't run the WWE. 
Right. You're but, not you're not playing. The problem is, Mike, as you know, you're blue blood. Blue bloods get treated differently than other football teams. Yeah, I don't have to care about that. No, no, I'm just saying, but this is what Petiti, this is what the college football playoff committee, this is what ESPN, this is what everybody. But it is Michigan. And do we want to ruffle those feathers? Do we want to go down that road? Their yeah. fan base, their fans watch our games. Their fans buy the products that we advertise. Well, then good. Do it whatever way you want. They don't do two to six here in the afternoon. I don't care. Need me to say it to you again? I don't care. What's your experience? What here? You know what, Rico? <laughs> I've never ran uh, college football, so I guess I can't talk about it. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. David, take a text. We'll go to the callers. Come on, Mike. Don't listen to everyone else talking about this. This is not a big deal. It's hashtag minimum advantage gain, or since Harbaugh wasn't named, he was not involved, and so on and so on with the talking points. Because yeah, here's just, the thing. Every day, it was all, remember, it was, a, well, where's the proof? Well, here's the proof. Well, who knew? It was a lone gunman. Well, it wasn't a lone gunman. Well, it's like every day, it's, each excuse just gets tossed to the side. And now you're saying that it may have gone past Michigan to, you helped out other teams, allegedly. Honestly, what we need to do, I think this is my retirement plan. I'm going to invent for college football cultists across America, Goalposts with wheels on them. That way they can easily keep moving them. And I can retire. Like the guy who invented the Floby is already retired. I bet you ShamWow guy's retired. Look at the goofball with his magical tape that he seals his boat up with and cruises. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, what about, the, yeah, the slap chop? Whatever. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm going to get Jansen a set of goalposts with wheels on him. Because his are always moving. It'll be easier for him. He can just slide them versus what, having to pick them no, up. No, I think what you're getting at, right now, I think a lot of Michigan fans initially were like, no, we got to need to wait and see. But a lot of them are now saying, yeah, this is getting pretty bad. It's getting pretty damning. It's just the absolute diehards who just refuse. No, this is not happening. Not at my school, not Michigan. Right, okay, I don't care about talking to those no, people. No, 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 I'm just saying, but this is... Those are the people who are still defending because right now there are when an independent company comes out and finds this, it's like, well, who's the company? It doesn't matter. They found the information. Yeah, guys, here's the other thing. I mean, your favorite NFL team employs security companies and those security companies aren't staffed by some slimy PI. The security companies largely who handle high level stuff. It's ex CIA, ex FBI, chiefs of police, yeah. retired detectives, right? Navy SEAL type of things. Yeah. Stop asking the wrong questions and focus on what we're talking about. Go ahead with the ticket text. We'll get to the callers. I'm just, I'm at a point where that Washington Post report changed a few things for me. And the idea that you you scheduled to scout live illegally Ohio State eight times, it, it starts to explain this giant split between first half performance and second half. And I'm telling you, that's not an unreasonable claim. No. Huh? I agree with you guys. He takes the first half to determine which pattern they're on. I guarantee you teams don't have 12 entirely unique sets of signs. Not in game. Mm -hmm. Week to week, month to month, yes. But that's exactly why, in my opinion, he scouted eight games. You don't worm your way out. It also goes to how I feel about just the college football playoffs where all of a sudden – the Ohio State team that we all thought was done and buried and Ryan Day just doesn't know how to coach goes up against Georgia and Kirby Smart, and it's like, wait a minute. They're still good? Well, yeah, this is what happens when you only scout them the regular way, and you don't go to eight games to, 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 to dissect everything that they do. And, and, and let me say this. Now, again, I want to be careful with this because I don't know it to be true. I don't have the level of believability that I would put behind the Washington Post. No disrespect to the fine folks at Football Scoop. But if you go and look, look, I remember that game vividly because I bet on that game. All right? And South Carolina walked in. Their offense was terrible. And they scored on their first six drives. Tennessee could not stop them at all. And you went, what is going on? Tennessee's offense, broken. But here's the other was thing. Was that the Spencer Rattler when he just looked like all of a sudden he was yes. back to being like yes. he was that Heisman Trophy guy Rico, and it was like maybe he doesn't stink. I think they were up 28 nothing at one point. They ended up scoring like 55 points. But 
Then factor in Clemson couldn't stop them the next week. Who else scouted them? So if Michigan, indeed, if that report is true and they dimed out Tennessee, why wouldn't they do it to Clemson? And if South Carolina, here's the other thing. Go do the research on this, fellas, but I'm 90% sure I'm right. Look up Shane Beamer, because I'm pretty sure he got popped paying for game plans about 15 years ago. Go look. I just brainstormed this while I'm sitting here. But the bottom line is, if they're impacting other people's games, if it went to that next level of manipulating results that you're not even there, but it's something you want, uh, then we've arrived at a different place. And I'm using if heavily. Yeah, Shane Beamer Beamer received info from Wake Forest while at Virginia Tech and was fined $25,000 for accepting the league game plan information. Okay, so not only does this man know every mascot, every city, every coach, every color, but he ever knows every scandal that happened in college football. And that story's from 2016, <laughs> yes. Strong J. You know, in the words of Freedom <laughs> Williams, things that make you go, hmm. I'm just saying. Do what you want with it. Grain of salt it, throw it in the garbage. Don't use it as gospel. But the point is, the more that comes out, the worse it looks. And these levels of deniability just disappear. And I go, all right, well, what are you going to do? What I'm telling you, I think there's a real shot Harbaugh's toast. Let's talk about that. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven.